What's going on guys, Sammy Benitez here and I just arrived to these three boxes right here at my doorstep. And so I'm gonna unbox these and show you exactly what's inside and why I am so excited to finally get these. So in these boxes are lithium batteries. So let's open it up. We got some literature. All right guys, well, they are here. These are Ampere Time 12 volt lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour batteries. Each one of these is a 12 volt system. I will be running these in series to create a 36 volt system for my transom mount trolling motor. I run electric only John Boat reservoirs here in North Georgia area, so they don't allow gas motors, which is why I'm going lithium. If you've seen my video on one of the best budget lead cell batteries, I mentioned I'll probably never buy lithium batteries in my lifetime. And here we are today. So I'm gonna tell you why I opted to go with lithium iron phosphate. Uh, some of the benefits, some of the cons, and uh, let's just get into it. So biggest con, lithium iron phosphate is price. Costs a lot of money. Uh, lead cell batteries you can buy for about a hundred bucks and get a decent run time, get a decent life out of them. These batteries in particular were $499 at the time of filming this video per battery. And so yeah, that's uh, five times the cost of a lead cell. So why did I do it? So first, I was considering replacing my lead cell batteries. They're about a year and a half in. They still have plenty of life, plenty of juice. Uh, but I can feel that they're getting tired on my trips back to the ramp. It's not to say that lead cells are bad. I use these things sometimes two, three times a week and I almost run them dry every time. When I say dry, I'm probably running them a little less than 50 amp hours of the 105 amp hours I have on them. So lead cell batteries, you don't wanna drain much past 50 before you start doing permanent damage. When you get these lithium iron phosphate batteries, you have 100 amp hours and you can use basically 100 amp hours. I'll most likely never run these dry, but you get full power all the way until about 97% with these particular batteries. Second reason is because I looked at my bank account and I had this surprise deposit that I've never seen before from the federal government. I haven't been watching the news for over the past year but apparently we just got a stimulus, which I'm gonna be calling Biden Bucks. And so I saw that and I decided, what's one thing that I would never buy that I've always wanted? First thing that came to my mind was lithium batteries. So I started to do some research. I started to research the cheap Chinese battery options that are out there. Cause a lot of the American owned companies currently are selling these same exact style type size batteries for about twice as much close to a thousand dollars per 100 amp hour 12 volt battery and that was definitely not in my budget that wasn't part of the uh, stimulus package for me so there's a lot of question marks there's a lot of people say good things and bad things about these chinese lithium batteries and uh so what i ended up finding your best bet is if you know how to wire batteries in series or parallel you can order the cells order a bms system and create your own battery yourself. For about 600 bucks plus shipping, give or take, again, time of filming this video, you're gonna have some high quality batteries with high quality BMS with thick gauge cables, um, and they can be pretty sound. Uh, biggest con to that is that it usually takes a really long time to ship because they're coming from China. Um, two, three months lead time is not rare in this instance at this time in uh, our current state here in the United States. So I didn't really wanna wait that long and I wasn't sure I wanted to try and create a battery box to maintain waterproofness uh, in case I might damage that BMS system that I would install. The other option was to buy more expensive batteries, uh, more, more readily available in the United States, spend close to $1,000 per battery. That wasn't an option. There's a bunch of these cheap batteries available on Amazon, eBay, and even Alibaba if you wanna venture there. But there's a lot of pros and cons to these and usually internally, there's more cons to it than you can see. This is not a serviceable battery. I can't open this um, unless I wanted to pry it open, cut it open. 
and damage the housing, the casing here. But thanks to some other YouTubers who have cut this open and done an inspection, looked at the cables, the gauges of the wires, the BMS system, and done some testing, which I will link above, I opted to go with these Ampere Time batteries. So one con, and really the only con that I found, um, which doesn't really affect me personally, I don't think, it does not have a low temperature power disconnect uh, when you're charging these batteries. So lithium batteries, you don't really want to charge below freezing temperatures or zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And so a lot of higher quality batteries have in their BMS system a sensor that will cut off the charge to the batteries if it starts to get below freezing. These batteries in particular do not have that. And so if you charge below freezing, you can damage your batteries. Uh, they say, if it happens one time, you've done significant and uh, long-term damage to the battery itself. One other reason is because I wanna get more speed. So if I can shed some weight out of my boat, that's one way I can maybe pick up a half mile an hour, maybe a mile an hour, I have no idea. Uh, each one of these weighs approximately 23 pounds, whereas the current lead cells I'm running weigh about 60, just over 60 pounds. So I'm gonna be shedding about two thirds of the weight per battery for three of my batteries, even though I got six on this boat. So that means I'm gonna lose about 120 pounds, almost the weight of a small person, a big child, uh, however you wanna put it. So all that combined and all that to say, the other big benefit to this is the lifespan. They say lithium iron phosphate, these in particular, they rate uh, about 4,000 4, charges plus for their lifetime. Where lead cell, you're gonna get, I don't, I don't know what they say, 300, 500, 600 charge cycles out of them. So you're getting close to 10 times the battery life out of a lithium iron phosphate. And uh, these claim to have a five year warranty, uh, which I'm not buying this for the warranty because honestly, I have no idea if this company will be in business in six months. I'm just buying it for the cells, the uh, basically the assembly that they did uh, for an affordable budget for a decent product. So I'm excited to hook this up. I bought a new onboard charger. It's made by NoCo Genius. So it is rated for lithium batteries. Uh, some people say you can run them on AGM settings on your onboard charger. Don't take my word for it. Uh, I bought a lithium charger so that I can charge these the correct way. I don't want to do any damage or I don't want to risk doing any damage. So if I ever have anything negative to say about these batteries, you will be sure to see another video and I will most likely link it right here um, so that it pops up. Uh, if you never see a video from me, then nothing bad ever happened. Uh, if in 10 years you see me making a video that my batteries are tired, then I'm surprised. One, I'm still making YouTube videos. <laughs> And two, that uh, these batteries actually did what they said they were gonna do, which I'm hoping not to be surprised by that. But overall, I'm excited to run them. I appreciate you watching. If you got any comments, questions, leave them down below and we will catch you on the next one. Peace, guys.